What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So today's vlog, we are finally going to be replacing the hardware in the kitchen. The last time we were together, we were decorating for fall, which was cool, I've been enjoying it. I've made a couple of more additions to the fall decor here at the house, but nothing like to write home about, y'all know. I be trying, but like I think I tapped out at the kitchen, but what was left open was the fact that I wanted to change the hardware out before like hosting season came. So I ordered the hardware and I was actually ready to share a couple of weeks ago, but in installing the hardware, I realized that I submitted the wrong amount for the number of pieces that I needed. So I was short. So I had to reorder. That order has finally arrived, or not finally, that order has arrived. And now I'm ready to complete the installation in the kitchen. And I'm so excited to share it with you. It's a small change. Um, but it's big enough where it makes a huge impact and over anything, it is adding some really good function to the kitchen because the ones I had before were super cute, but they were giving me some problems specifically on the drawers because of the types of screws that I had to use in order to install them. And I'm just ready for all of that to be behind me. Like, the kitchen is smack dab in the middle of the house, so I just want it to be right. So we're gonna install new hardware today. I also have quite a few things that I've been working on in the background that I wanna share with you. So after I kinda share the plan for the installation, share the hardware that I've chosen, we'll hop back on camera, and then I'll share some updates that I have with you, just me personally, from a vlogging, content creation, uh, engagement with you guys standpoint, some really exciting stuff that's kind of been having me with my head down as well, which is why you also haven't heard from me. So today's video is gonna be a whole lot of fun with a lot of exciting news and I can't wait to share it with you. Let's hop into today's video. Okay, now while I'm taking off the current hardware, let me give you some info and deets on where I got the hardware that we are getting ready to replace what's already installed with. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do was kind of keep the style the same. I actually like the hardware that's in my kitchen. The problem is I have drawers and it's mostly the drawers where I was having to use like the pop-off screws in order to connect because the cabinets were so thick and it was causing a huge problem where I've had to replace several of them. So the replacement that I actually found is from a company called Golden Warm and they are actually considered um, wardrobe handles, but you know, we're using them in the kitchen and they are really really nice because they're their exact style that I was looking for when I actually moved in but I was afraid to invest but now that I've been here for a few years I totally understand the point of investing in quality hardware and I was really excited when I did a Pinterest search and I saw these guys come up because not only did they have the style that I was looking for, as you can see on the website, there are several different styles that really give a luxe vibe. They still have a lot of the knurl knurled pools, I think is the way you say that, that a lot of you all like. I like the pools that I'm putting back on here are still knurled, but I was able to find something that matched the vibe with the back plates and stuff like that, even though they are a little bit more expensive. As you can see, if you search the site, there are options that are available that offer the same type of luxe feel and kind of unique modern feel for your kitchen, but at different price points. So. There's so much to choose from when it comes down to Golden Warm that I wanted to share them with you. I reached out to them. I was able to get you some special savings. So check the descriptions. So if you decide to shop, you can go over and apply that code and get you some coins back in your pocket. Uh, but yeah, I really have enjoyed what I've installed so far. 
So now that my additional order has come in because I ordered the wrong amount in the beginning, I'm excited to get back to being able to take the rest of this current hardware off and get all of the cabinets and drawers uh, all aligned with the same hardware and not have to worry about the quality and function of the hardware that I have in place thanks to my friends over at Golden Warm. So let's keep on the trucking. Um, I've got to get quite a few handles off here in the actual, what is this, the hutch area. And then once I remove everything, we'll start to do the install of the new hardware. All right, y'all. So all the hardware that is going to be replaced, oh, sorry, has been messily moved. And I'm excited about that. So we've got these top cabinets that need to be replaced. They're already installed. Here, let me show you. You see, they're already installed here. And that just provides just a way more secure um, grip. I love it. So we gotta go up there and then we gotta do the pot drawers and uh -oh, we gotta do the pan drawer down below. So I'm gonna wait on Tim to do that because my nails are getting in the way. So while we're waiting on him, let me catch you up on some other stuff that's been going on. While we are waiting to get the rest of the uh, hardware installed in the kitchen, I wanna give you some updates on some things that I've been working on. So first of all, uh, the website is up. It's been up. It's a work in progress. Like it's good enough for anybody that wants to go over and inquire about working with us on a project, but it's really up as a home base for us to start actually blogging in more detail in what we do here on the vlog. So I've added a news, what is it called? <laughs> newsletter. <laughs> Dang, my mind went blank for a minute. I've added a newsletter. Um, to the at home with K catalog, just because a lot of times what I'm vlogging about, there's so much other stuff going on in the background with specials from other retailers that I'm working with, um, special collaborations and stuff like that that I have going on. And it's really hard to share everything at one time. So what I did is I compiled a newsletter where I can share those things on a weekly basis with you guys where it's important, right? So like today, I am soft launching or soft announcing the fact that I'll be working with a curtain supplier to come up with the collection of textiles and curtains, possibly rugs and pillows where we can start to sell those to you guys. When that stuff starts to come out, because there's a lot more of it that I plan to do, in addition to our weekly videos, I need to have a place where I can notify you of what's going on, and a newsletter is a great way to do that. So, you, if you sign up for the newsletter, you're going to be called my AHK Insider, that stands for At Home With K. We're working on a brand here and all you have to do, the link to join directly is down in the description. When you go to the landing page, you'll just type in your first name, last name, and your email, and that'll add you to the list so that when announcements and stuff like that come on, uh, come about, I have a place to send them to you directly to your email. Um, I promise you, it's just me. I'm not going to sell your stuff. I'm not sharing your contact information with anybody. Uh, that's illegal. I don't believe in that. I am a, uh, marketing automation consultant in my other trade. So I understand the importance of privacy and emails and stuff like that. But I also understand that it is a very valuable way to stay connected, even when I'm not doing live video, because I am working on a lot behind the scenes that so sometimes it's hard for me to come in front of the camera. Okay, so that's thing number one, the AHK Insiders, our weekly newsletter. You can find a description for that, or you can find the link for that down in the description and you can go and sign up. Totally free, doesn't cost you any Thing. Second thing that I've been working on, <laughs> another reason why you don't see a lot of me is because we be in the streets, child. We be in the streets like your girl be traveling. And I didn't, I didn't 
document it as much because a lot of my travel is personal travel. Like me and Boo will hop on a plane. Like this summer was crazy. It started in St. Lucia when we took our birthday trip and then it just seemed like it just kept going and going and going and going. Uh, but one of the things that I've always wanted to do was travel with my followers. Like I've always wanted to connect with you guys. And I think I've said this before in the past that I wish it was a way that I could connect with y'all that wasn't like a Facebook group. I'm not a good Facebook grouper, um, but I I would love to like have a deeper connection with you guys where we can get together, have fun. When I travel, I like to go to the beach. Um, but also when I'm there, I like to eat good food, partake in the cocktails. I like to go and see like the landscaping and the vegetation, learn about that kind of stuff. I'm not a huge like adventure girl, but I do like to get out and about and just see what other tropical places have to offer because I feel like once all this work is done, the first thing I'm doing is retiring. Me and my hubby are gonna retire and head to a beach in the Caribbean, teach yoga, sell smoothies, and just vibe out but until then one of the ways that I was thinking about connecting with you guys was to do like a yearly trip so the thought ran across my mind and when the hubby and I were on vacation it always comes up and it has to be something that is meant to be because when the thought ran across my mind not even weeks later I had an email in my inbox with the company that wants to collaborate and help me bring this to life so what I'm trying to do is to plan a trip for us for next year sometime, but I don't wanna do all of the planning without taking into consideration what you guys' budget is, where you wanna go, what time of year you wanna go, and stuff like that. So what I've done, to help make planning a little bit smoother on my side is I've created a short survey. It takes about two minutes to fill out where if you're interested in like connecting like that, like share your feedback and your thoughts about how much you're willing to spend on a good travel trip, right? When you're willing and able to go uh, where you want to go and that I can collect all of this information and take that into consideration as I'm working with my travel team to create a location, budget, and itinerary that's going to be dope for everybody. So I'm really, really excited about that. I've seen it done a lot here lately and I was like, that's it. That's the way that I want to connect. So I've got a survey link <laughs> down below. Uh, where you can go and complete the two minute survey. If you complete the survey, um, it will give me the information that I need and I'm trying to collect this data within like the next week or so, so that I can get back with them and start like planning the trip so we have time to put our coins up uh, and figure out, you know, let's get outside. So that was pretty cool. What else is going on? What else is going on? I talked about the collection that we're gonna be curating um, with our curtain manufacturer. That's gonna be a good time. That is like in its infancy stages. So as more information comes up with that, I'll be sure to share that in our AHK Insiders and when we're here on the vlog. And then outside of that, y'all, you know, the holidays are getting ready to come up. I know everybody's like in fall right now, but y'all know Christmas is my thing. So if you wanna start to decorate for Christmas, I would really suggest you be on the AHK Insider list as well, because that's where I'll be sharing like deals and stuff that I find um, on a weekly basis there to help you start shopping. One of the things that is key to shopping for the holidays is to do it early and in small chunks so that it's palatable and it doesn't break the budget. So those are the things that are going on with me that's all I can think of I'm sure I forgot something I'm sure I forgot something if I did just check the description anything that I forgot that's worth talking about in today's video will be down in the description but I just wanted to take a moment while we were waiting on a hubby to get finished with his work call so he can help us get the rest of this hardware installed so chit chat with you guys catch you up on what's going on and invite you to become an AHK insider and fill out the trip survey share your opinions Cast your vote for where we're gonna go and how much we're gonna spend so we can get outside next year together. All right, so that's enough for now. Let's head back and start uh, putting this hardware actually on the cabinets. So where these holes are is where these line up. Just like that. Make 
not sure. She is straight. And I'm straight. It's helpful to have this out. Or to have a person if you can have a person. Let me show you this before we do this. So these come. The way this is going to work. So I screw in this way. Like that. We're gonna screw in, place the screw in with the little holder, and we put the cap on it. So it's gonna look like that on the cabinet. Love it, screw is inconspicuous, but it is holding it down. So let's put her back on here to make sure we are straight. And all you need is a screwdriver. I wouldn't um, install this with anything else, and honestly, once your first hole is on, you can get her going and then come back and level it before you place the next screw in. So that's what I've been doing, especially working by myself. Um, ay, ay, ay. Don't do that. But what I love about these back plates are they are forgiving these nails. It's the end of the weekend, 
but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe, cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need all right y'all so the hardware is all installed and let me tell you this is not something that i ever want to tackle again <laughs> while i am extremely pleased with the way things have turned out i think in total i probably installed 53 pieces of hardware never again not in that scale so in a kitchen Will I purchase my own hardware? Absolutely, because I think these are beautiful. I think they're stunning. I think they're going to stand the test of time of what me and my family are going to give to them. But am I gonna be the one to install it in the kitchen? No, this is a get somebody else to do it moment. But I couldn't be happier with the way everything has come out. And I am so, so, so happy to have guests over and not have that knot in the bottom of my stomach. I know it sounds frivolous. I know it doesn't sound like a huge deal, but those of you all that like to host and like to present your home in a really nice way, you get it. You know that you want everything in place, like no dirt anywhere, nothing out of place. And it just feels better to have these things, these, this hardware installed, knowing that it's not gonna come off and that I'm not gonna have issues and that I don't have to with my kids about what they're doing now in the kitchen so mission accomplished so what's next now that we're done in the kitchen eventually over time i will start to organize what's in these cabinets because y'all got to see a little bit of it you know it's just stuff everywhere but what's on the inside right now is not my huge concern um we are getting ready to start an eight week transformation in our laundry room so i have been working behind the scenes on that too collecting samples getting everything together so that eight week process can go as planned so next week um we'll probably i'll show you what we've done outside to like prepare for fall and then the week after that it will be getting this laundry room together because y'all it's a mess and we'll talk about that at another time. But this is a part of the one room challenge. And I know I introduced that challenge to you guys in the theater room and I didn't finish it. But this time we are going to finish because I am way more prepared. I joined early. I was able to get collaborations for what some of the things that I needed. I was able to price, plan, structure, all that good stuff. All the things that are really necessary in order for a good design project to go as executed, I was able to do. So I feel a lot more confident that I'll actually be able to finish it. And I'm excited to share that with you. Don't forget to sign up to be an AHK Insider. Don't forget to cast your vote on the group trip. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, send it to a franchise, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.